And today's episode of Free Friday is sponsored by Sketchfab. Sketchfab is the largest platform on the internet that gives 3D artists the opportunity to publish, share, discover, buy and even sell 3D, VR and AR content. Sketchfab provides you with an online 3D viewer which is based on the WebGL and Web AR technology. And this simply allows you to view your 3D content on the web, mobile browsers and also on virtual reality headsets. So in case you want to publish or even buy or sell your next 3D content, go Sketchfab. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is another interesting episode of Free Friday and we have a whole lot of things that you guys would definitely find interesting as you proceed in this endless journey of 3D content creation. So starting off, we're going to be taking a look at 4 tutorial. Now, if you want to get into 4 and how you can start making cool 4 imaginary rat has actually created a full set of tutorial guide that you can go over to gumroad i'm going to link this in the description where you can get started now while you're going over to gumroad there are a couple of things that you can actually get for free now one of them is the four tutorial that you can get now if you're also thinking about how you can start painting call it for maybe post render pre render concept art then you have something like this there's a full set of call it for brushes that you can now get and start working with and you can just simply get this one and get going so for those guys that are into for creation creating hairs and stuff this one is for you guys and a huge shout out to imaginary rat for making this one available now the next one which we're going to look at is andrian bg now andrian has a couple of base meshes that that you would definitely find interesting to work with now if you're into creating hands which seems to be one of the trickiest things to make while making model you would definitely find this one a cool breeze to actually get started with now the idea about this free model is he has actually gone ahead to divide different sections that contains fingers all the way to the base hand that you can now simply get and start working with now this is a ztl file which simply means you can only use this in zbrush but for the most part you can still get this model export it out bring it over to blender and get some cool stuff happening if you're into sculpting now with that said there is also a skull base mesh you can actually go over to andrian bg page right now get this model that contains four different sets of sub tools and it's pretty cool to see that someone out there has actually created this drop this for free for anyone to come through and get it and while we're still talking about what andrian has done there is also andriano now andriano is also a very good artist and he is very focused with things that has to do with shading and also animation so one of the cool things that he has done so far is the time washer now the time washer is a very cool animation and if you want to get into that link is going to be in the description where you can get the entire scene and you can see every single thing that makes up this full stuff now this scene is compatible with both EV and cycles and you can get this and run this through blender and learn all of the tips tricks and everything single thing that he has done and actually there's a link to a complete breakdown just in case you want to see all of the tiny technicalities that came together to create this beautiful scene now this is not the only thing that you can get from andriano as he also has the dragon fire shader now the dragon fire shader is pretty pretty a cool one and if you're trying to actually create an effect that looks like this then you might actually find this one pretty interesting to work with now this shader the comic procedural shader is also here and these things are just pretty insane that it is for free now if you're into comics or you're trying to get your hands or your feet wet with it you might want to jump over to andriano's page right now and get this one going for you so one of the very cool ones for me is the lava it's actually called hot blob here and this is a very cool shader that you can use to make some very lovely things now we already talked about how you can create this in blender previously and also how you can recreate this in maya now i'm going to put links in the description just in case you want to learn how to create this by yourself but if you don't want to learn how to create this and you just want to get this up and running and you know make a couple of tweaks throw this directly into your scene and have some fun playing with this this one is here and a huge shout out to andriano for making these available for everyone that is working with blender out there now with andriano done we're talking about some very cool stuff that has to do with base mesh now this base mesh is so cool that i love it i love this base mesh for two things the very first one is is the fact that the topologies are just so cool now if you're into creating characters and you're looking for a very clean topology that gets a lot of parts defined properly 
then you might want to take a look at this and see what Victor right here has actually done. He says he want to be a character artist, but this is just so cool. Proper topology, clean UVs, and you can see all of the definitions here and there. You can come through, get this one, and a huge shout out to Victor for that as we dive right into something that has to do with more stylized stuff. And we're talking about no other stylized character or stylized base mesh than the one that Very Hot Shark has actually done and made available for the entire community. Now this base mesh is actually an FBX file and I love the fact that these stylized characters are free and at the same time they have more like the proper definition and also the proportions are actually spot on now if you want to get these they are fbx files you can choose to load these directly in blender now when you drop this in blender some very cool feature that you would notice is every single thing seems to be linked to the hip and this makes sense as they have actually gone through to parent all of the relevant parts to the hip of the character now regardless of where this base mesh was made if i simply click on any part you would notice that the pivot is actually at the exact spot that you would want it to so let's say for example i click right here and i want to start making changes to the character by moving the legs you can see this is actually very interesting as you can see right now the pivots are actually spot on and if you want to reparent this the way you want you can still choose to do those by yourself now if you're also thinking about sculpting and you want to use the multi-resolution in blender 2.9 we've already talked about how you can get started with that link is going to be in the description where you can check out the video that talks about multi-resolution and every single thing you need to know about that one we can also jump over to zbrush where we're going to take a look at the female model and the female model itself has some very nicely done proportions that you would want to also take a look at so you can see that these models right here can actually get you to a very good point and instead of spending so much time trying to find some extra resource trying to pay for some you know stuff you can pick up these ones modify them and get started with that with your very next project so with all of this one said it's time to dive directly into qbrush where we're going to talk about some time based models and resources and assets that you can get for this week now with qbrush open you notice that we have about six set of publishers that have made some of their works for free i'm going to run through these ones real quick so that you guys can take a look at these and see how they best suit your present situations and need so if we go over to chadden's page you would notice that he does have 3d laser scan body now the cool thing about the 3d laser scan bodies for me are the wrinkles i mean you can see how much details you have on these wrinkles and if you're into you know creating wrinkles using marvelous designer or creating wrinkles like using the wrinkle brushes in both you know a zbrush or blender then these are going to serve as very good references for you of course you can still use this to practice with topology which i would highly suggest that this is also pretty cool to start with and you can also take a look at the poses as you can derive and also see certain nuances of how the body is actually actually positioned when it stays in a given pose now all of these things are free and you would need to come over to the page right here which i'm going to put links in the description and get this but this is not the only thing that you can get from qbrush as you would also be able to get a huge set of 3d assets that does have a sketch fab preview section that you can take a look at the models before you download and these ones are made available by dennis now the one that is made available for this week is the ksr 28 sci-fi sniper rifle now the sniper rifle is not the only thing that dennis has in his arsenal that he has made for free if you want to get more things from dennis you can simply go over to dennis page right here where you would notice that he has literally kept every single thing that he has here totally for free and they do have the sketchfab preview section which means you can preview these things inspect them before you proceed to download them and if you're also thinking about getting some scenes that you might want to inspect play with modify there is a geothermal steam factory that is done in blender that he has available right here and also a five wheeler scene that you might find interesting to take a look at now these things are right here and you can go through and check them out so with this done let's take a look at wes so wes himself is also giving out 
a brush pack for procreator and photoshop users i would like to actually say that if you're into substance painter and you want to work with substance painter you can go over to the link that will take you to west's page where you can get these brushes and use them in substance since substance painter 2019.3 actually added the integration of photoshop brushes it is pretty interesting to see that you can bring these brushes directly from photoshop down into substance painter and use them to paint and even texture your own 3d model and west also has a holiday gift pack which is also a set of brushes that you can get now with that done let's talk about more free brushes from mako and these brushes also work alongside procreate so the same thing that west is giving out is slightly within the same lines of what you can get right now if you go over to Marco's page and try to download them. Now Marco himself has also given out some stuff for free before which includes the Goache brushes and if you're into creating paintings and texturing there you go. Now let's take a look at the Rumbles Puff chair now the rumbles puff chair is made by alariza who is a 3d artist and also an architectural visualization artist so he does have this very detailed and you can literally take a look at these things and see how rich the texturing and the render is so if you're into you know architectural stuff maybe you just want something that you can use to test renders or you're trying to find something you can add up to your scene then you might want to check this one out of course he has a whole lot of things on his page but it turns out that this is the only thing that he has for free that you guys would definitely get as it is up for free this week from qbrush now last but not the least we will be diving directly over to raffaello now raffaello has some very very interesting mandala vectors now if you're into creating henna designs or you know you're trying to make some artworks around your hand around your feet or you're just a fan of local tattoo or the henna tattoo then you might find these mandala vectors extremely useful because from here onwards you'll be able to have access to about 11 of these things at the same time if you're into creating characters you might also want to attach some of these as beautifications to your character's body or you might just simply want to get these things and use them as some sort of pattern now these henna designs or you know the mandala designs are extremely extremely from a very long rich culture these are the things for free friday there's a whole lot of things that we've talked about so a huge shout out to all of the contributors of today's free friday imaginary rat andrian andriano victor very hot shack and all of the guys from qbrush that have made this possible possible so that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about all of this beautiful stuff that you have for free now in the comment section and at the same time if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace